Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have a Land Rover Discovery Sport here with AdBlue issues. So if we look on here, it says that the AdBlue tank needs to be drained one litre. So what's happening is obviously you've got this error up here. No engine starts. It's It's been tried to reset. It's had parts chucked out of it and whatever. I've tried to reset it numerous times and it will not reset. I've then checked the level of the... See, this says that the AdBlue level is low. But when I check it on here, it says that the AdBlue level is overfilled and it needs to be drained. Okay, so to do that, what we need to do, I'll just get over here and show you. So just under here we have the AdBlue tank. So I've removed this little fitting from the top. So now what I'm going to do is hold that on here. I'm going to get the customer to do that for me. So I'm pushing some air pressure using the smoke machine through the AdBlue tank. And now that the valve is open, you'll see it pushes the AdBlue out. And there it is. We're just going to lose a litre. Okay, now we'll come back inside and we're going to reread the level of the tank again. And we're just going to wait for that to read the level of the tank. It's quite a silly process really, but if you didn't notice, it does, there's no indication that the tank is overfilled. And that's it. Once we've reset the fault codes and we have rechecked the level of the tank, that's it. The fault codes, all of the fault codes for the AdBlue system will, will uh, go away. You've got NOx exceedance, P2BAE, um, loads of other six different fault codes and it's all because the AdBlue tank is filled too much and it's just a, this mainly it was just a video to show you the little trick how you can empty the AdBlue tank because I do see people talking about removing the tank to drain some fluid out you can push the fluid out if you've got a, a, a any sort of item that can create pressure basically and that's it I'll see you in the next video